Hey, thanks so much for pressing play once more. Um, this is just a quick video looking at um, something that's on my mind suddenly today through um, just chatting with Boneless Rocker on one of my comments, sorry, one of my videos in the comment section um, today. Um, we we're looking at how we think it's all being played out according to like revelation and it just got me thinking of the things that are predictive programming wise that they tell us about that have yet to really happen and there's not really been this EMP thing that's affected anyone in a, on a large scale yet but it's always constantly in TV shows and it's been in loads of films already in the past and stuff um, so it just got me looking at literally just EMP. Um, but I'll show you what I'm talking about in terms of the comments from Boneless. So it's from a video yeah, of the Matthew 7.13. Thanks so much everyone for all your input. Um, but yeah, we're looking at this top one. <laughs> Um, and we're saying how, yeah, the 951 from 156 upside down connects with the rapture. And also other things from Revelation as well, how 13 is the big connection with all of it. 13. Um, Bonus points it out there. So it's got the same matching numbers as um, rapture does. And those simple ciphers. And 13 is a big deal in all of this and what's to come as well. 31st January, Supermoon, the next big one, isn't it? Um, and also this 137 from that bit, fulfilling biblical prophecies. Um, 13 times 7 is 91, so it's that 91 harvest number once again. But some really good other numbers there, just following on the rest of the comment. I just want to kind of, oh, YouTube keeps doing this to me at the minute. I have to keep going in and out to read things. Sorry about this. So I just want to carry on with what we're saying there. 773. Fulfilling biblical prophecies. I mean, I've replied to Boneless. But I just want to show everybody else because not everyone will obviously see all these comments. Um, hence the video because it's important stuff, I think, to share. Yeah, how awake is 31? Reverse, full reduced. But then I just got onto yeah the EMP itself, and obviously the capital letters are important. I think with that um, abbreviation of electromagnetic pulse. So I will look specifically at yeah bacon is obvious there with thirteen, but baconis not so obvious. So you look into the properties of it. Sixty five sixty fifth prime is three one three. Big number, 313. Remember, 31st of January, 2018. 2018 is in the 11. So you're having the 11 to the January. That's 12. That reduces to 3. 31st and 3. You've got it on that blue moon date. I'm not necessarily saying it's going to happen on that specific date. But it could be. It's definitely linked to that. Whenever it, things do happen, and I'm going to show in other videos, they are linked to that date. There's pattern links to that date of the things that have gone on in the past as well. Um, and how 65 is so significant as well with that. In the words itself, 65 in Baconis, 23rd triangular. 276 is basically 12 times 23. 2, 2, 3 times 23 
but sorry, yeah, I'm waffling a little bit. 773 again, going back to 7773. But be a cool prophecies. Um, 773 is going back to Boneless Rockers' magnificent find last year about their 5th of November connection to everything as well. 7 times 73 is 511. Yeah, I'm just remembering all those fire. It's just a fire story every single probably hour or so. <laughs> it's definitely every day at the minute. I keep seeing fire related stories and it seems to just go back from last year ever since the tower, Grenfell Tower again. Then we had the Portugal ones. Obviously the California one since then. Just fire and fury, isn't it? But I just wanted to, yeah, quickly going back to EMP then. So I've already talked about 65 in the comment and how much of that is significant in its properties. It's even 5 times 13, so that V people are talking about at the minute. The 13, sorry, yeah, hex is there, duos, and octal. But that's the big one, 65th prime. It's three, one, three. Um, so that's on the yeah, Baconis. I'm just going to go through, you know, all of them. Cause they're quite simple ones, but the properties aren't always so well known, and they weren't to me till I looked at it. So it's obviously four times four. Um, it's got some interesting ones up there. But that one, some of its devices for me, sticks out 31, 13, again, in reverse, 31st January, just on number 16. Number 11, again, fifth prime, not many people will know that, but the 11th prime is 31. 31 again, in octal, 13. Duo of 13. It's just on the simple number 11. Two towers of 11. 38, that's 2018, isn't it? 2 plus 1 and then 8. 3 8. We know quite a bit about 3 8 already. It's 3 8 as well, of, of course. Um, but then you've got interesting ones up there as well. And there. 46 we know is 2 times the 23 chromosomes, 223. Again, interesting ones just on these. 34, 9th Fibonacci. Some of devices, 54, 217. 21st of July was when Boomtown Rats released I Don't Like Mondays. 21st of July. 31 times 7 is 217. 317 is lie upside down, isn't it? 47, big number for Freemasonry. 47th problem of Euclid. 47 degrees for the tropics. And there's loads more, of course. But English Extended. November 5th, EMP. That's just a reminder, yeah, of 65. Because of, sorry, yeah, the Baconis 65. It's individual geometry just for the words, 65. We've got the harvest again in Bacon, 1991. 276 Baconis, yeah. 23rd triangular. So, yeah, it's interesting stuff for me. The whole EMP yet to really be carried out. I'm sure it's going to be part of their plans in the near future. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.